All right, so I'm gonna go through some GameCube stuff. This should be all the GameCubes that are good. So I'm gonna. I sold a laser board, so I have to start with getting all my stuff out here. So let's do that first. That may take me. I found some more ports over here. I got ports, so I have to kind of get stuff out. But I'm looking for some of these don't work either. So let me. I want to get to that one first. Let's get to this box here. I need power. So you always got to most switch between different things all the time. So now I'm to GameCube. We're gonna do that. So in here, these all work, I believe. But they just need to be cleaned a little bit. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. Take a GameCube kind of day. So in here. Oh, and I have something fun for this too. Let's get that out too. This is the funnest part. Hold on. Let me get to the fun stuff here. This is the fun stuff right here. That. And then you need. Uh, this with it. I gotta find a top cover. So this is the fun stuff here. It's its own little TV, its own little screen. And then there's a power power adapter on the bottom. So that I can test games right on the screen and not have to use the TV as much. So let's see under here is a mobile. This is iTech. You need this part because it says power to the screen, which is here. This screen actually works. It's not the best video in the world, but it's pretty cool. I need a top cover though before I can really get to that. So let's finish what we're doing in here. So, in here should be what I need. I was playing around with this last week. So, one of these is this is Japan board here. So, I'm just going to get that one there. So Right now, I just need a laser board, so that's what I'm really going to do first, and then we'll come back and play around with all this stuff. So, GameCubes. It's, I've been selling gaming parts now for, I don't know, I think almost eight years. GameCube is the number one part seller by a landslide of anything. And over the years, I've had at least 1,300 GameCubes. I stopped buying a while ago, so I really don't have any more now, but this is all I have left. All this little collection of stuff. So, in order to learn about all kinds of gaming stuff, you have to kind of learn everything. So you can't just keep getting the same stuff all the time. Oops. So, oops, what just happened? I lost my live view now. I just lost it now. Oh, it's somewhere around there. Alright, so... I think I lost it. Alright, so... Yeah, so GameCube. Number one part sell by the side. And I sold tons and tons of boards and laser boards. Most issues, just about every issue is laser board related. So... That's usually where the problem lies. Not always, but... A lot of times it's the power boards. If you have the one with the power board, it should be something like this one. I know this one doesn't work because there's a component missing. So all I'm doing right now is te retesting this because I'm pretty sure I mean, I'm just going to pull the laser board off of this one because it's ready to go. And then we'll stick another laser board on it and go from there. All right, so first, I'm not going to play around with this yet, but this is fun. That's some fun stuff right there. 
not going to put them back together. I have lots of GameCube games to, to test and to sell. I started doing it last week and then I, oh, I don't know, I, I tend to get off track very quickly. And as my day always goes wherever my order is taken, basically. And then whatever time I have left in the day, I try to get something else in there. That. So in here somewhere, this is always my biggest bug is these cables get lost. I'm looking for a cable. Alright. Uh, so we have to do a little clean up here. So we'll get back to this. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put that back together at some point. This is our fun stuff here. Those are remade from Let's see right here, those are... Alright, so let's put that over there. It's a Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo Mini. Which is the best. Always want to have a Mini if you gotta get it. I always have fun stuff all over my desk. It's always lots of stuff. Here's something fun. It's a Sega Genesis wireless dongle and game and controllers. That's some fun stuff right there. I don't know if those work. I'm not a pond on that. This was a. I was doing N64s. That's, I found some more fun N64 games. So there is something going on here. Oh, this is cool. This little Nintendo Power thing. That's pretty cool. Do two things. Come with me. I just got these little handhelds today. From those are fun. Anything you've never had before is fun. It doesn't necessarily have to work or just cool. Alright, so let's move that over there for now. Alright, so I'm still in search of a couple different things here. I have to get my wall. I gotta get this back on here. <clears throat> I use this little switch box in here. I need to get this back in here so I get my uh, ADI working. So let's go see there. Where are you? There you are. Alright, so now we're gonna come back to here. Oh, I got one of these microphone thingies. Or I have a game or two that uses that. That's kind of what. I just haven't got back to it. Right, let's, let's get to where we need to be here. Got a memory card in there. Got power. The video. I'm going to need a port. Oh, then I'm going to need a controller. That's what always gets me. But don't worry, man. I'm not really going to. As far as I know, this laser board works. I, don't, I, don't, I can tell right away if it works. I'll show you. This is my last power switch for the dish tray. Out of actually thousands I've sold of those those power switches. Every part on the GameCube has sold thousands of things. It's been a very long time since I've bought bought any. Alright, so let's get to there. Oh no, where is one? Well I can just turn it on. I'll tell you it's what you'll hear what I call it the laser board. Chirp. Right there. This is a fully working system right there. I have to put my remote now. So we know that this laser board works well. I was expecting that. That fully works right there, you know it's working. Well, it used to work. Now it's controller. Yeah, put it now. Oh, it was working. Hold on a second. I need to change the audio video, I assume. Thank you. 
another remote. Oh, there it is. Ah, couldn't find it. No, I found it. Alright, so let's source out here. And do that again. Oh, this is because you know why this is Japan that's why so this this lens assembly works but we're in Japan I must have switched it the last time I played around with it so let's not have Japan on here so basically we're just going to take this off and this and this so Japan cubes only play Japan games there is a way, I think, on the motherboard to switch it, so I don't want this one. It's my Japan one. This one. This is U.S. So, the good thing right here, as you can tell, is you can just swap lens assemblies. As the lens assembly... Um, is universal. So we just went from here to here. And what I'm doing is just, just, just swapping to here. I get, only because I have Japan games and USA games to retest down the line here. And this one is DOL 101 with just a one port. So I need to take this off. I just bare bones the best I can. I'm doing all this, I don't need to have all that stuff on there. Hold on. It'll stay on now, it should. Yeah, see, it's, I'm just missing the controller. So we know this fully works, even though you're not seeing the game plan, it would. But, um, I have to get past that screen, but I can't really do that right this second. So, well, let's skip that for a minute. So, all I need now is a laser board. And we know later this is fully worked, so we're good. So we can shut this down. US one, the other one is it's probably not lying in the top. I just want this. It's a number two, two, so it's a good one. If you're gonna get a laser board, definitely don't want an A. That's the worst. B most times they don't work anymore. Minus one, sometimes they work. Minus two, most of the time, but still not all the time. It's the caps on you know, I'll take about any Every game's everything. The caps go. Just did that on purpose, I think. So all I'm doing is taking the laser board off. Because that's what I sold. Then later on, we'll go back and I'm going to retest a bunch of this stuff. I gotta get some more boards up. I got lots. I got some good boards here. Both U.S. Be careful when you take this off because if I cut the edges off this already, but I actually made it sharper. But if you get a clip on either either end of these, then th this will do what I call the uh, the spindle sh jiggle. It just sits there and jiggles, it never spins. It's because one of your sides is probably broken. So it's not getting the full signal. Just a little uh, heads up there. You see one? You have one that does that. So this is my best soldering iron ever. Because I can heat it up in seconds. Do what I gotta do. And then shut it down. So this is B board. Not usually a good one. Uh, a. So I'm going to take this one off and then we'll put the other one on. So 
So we'll wait for that to do its thing here. Ah, oh, so green is good, green is go, and we're we're in. This thing is this is hard. So we'll want this out. This is the one I'm gonna. That's what it's getting sold today. This will be the new one to test. So you always have to start with a complete good working lens assembly, and then you just switch parts to figure out where your issue is. That's the only way you really can do it. Unless you're really knowledgeable about electronics and all that hoo-ha, but I'm not. So I just go by the easiest way possible to figure something out. See how easy that is? Almost makes me feel like I'm a professional, but I'm not. Alright, so that's all I need to do with that, and then I'm done. I get that out of there. I have like four of those, just in case I lose one. Alright, that's my good one. That's all we sell. So we'll just try one more. So I hit it with just one screw. And this is basically how you keep testing for it. It's a real pain. It's the only way you can really test the laser boards. And you always want to make sure, like, oh, I had to go under that lip there. The little lip is going to go under. Yeah, so you got to be careful of these, like I said, even putting them in. Because, because. If you break the edges, or if you break the, the connection here, then it's no good. These things are not meant to be taking on and off all the time like this so try to do it as easy as possible so I took out one to try another bees I don't know I've never really had much luck with bees meaning that the, the last thing on, the, on this number here is a B it's either a, an A a B a minus one or a minus two and we've already decided that minus two is your best. Make sure this goes in too. I think that goes in. Now you think you got it in, but it's not. Alright, so now we're, again, as we've already done, we know this fully worked until I swapped the laser board. So now let's see what happens. So many different things can happen. Let's find out. Or nothing else. <laughs> oh, so that means that laser ball don't work at all. See how it gave me an error? Like that's there, that's there. Maybe I just didn't have it on all the way. Hold on. Oh, let's try it again. Now that, that means that laser board's gonna give me an error rate. Right I didn't get nothing out of that one. Huh. I don't usually see that. Let's try a different one. Don't know why that one didn't turn anything. It's unusual. So that was a waste. So like I said, bees are not... One more. Let's try to find a different one that's not A. I don't want to use A. An A. So those are A's I'm gonna put just as as parts because they never work ever. And if not, they get returned anyway. So there. All right, I minus two. It's my only. My, we'll give this one a whirl. Yeah. And I've spent so all my systems, everything I've done to learn. In the last eight years, GameCube is where the most hours were put in. Thousands and thousands of hours over the years. Just doing silly things like this. So I can bring that right back in. Yeah, you gotta get yourself one of these. They run hotter than a cord one. 
and they at light I can hold it off like a little pencil almost. So you gotta be doing a couple things at one time here. So yeah, so my main things I spent time on green. Alright, yeah, green's good, green's go. So what I haven't been doing is I keep retesting broken ones. So let's not have that one in there. Alright, so let's go back to this one now. That one didn't work at all. It's just unusual. Usually it works somewhat. Unless I did something wrong, which I don't think I did. Alright, gotta get on that lip. There's a lip right there. Right here. Right that little lip right there. Right, so now we go back to here. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of an LED light to it too, so I'll see. So that makes it pretty much easier to see. It looks like I got it on there. I'm happy with that, and then I'm done. I just get it out of my way. The best thing ever. I always say that. Okay. Anyway. Now, I'm not sure what happened with that. Let's try a different one. So we're using another minus two. I just put that screw in. Where is it? screw on there. Just one screw to keep it in place. No sense putting all the screws back on. That would make no sense. Put them all back on and take them all back off again. That would be silly. So what you want to do is try to get things down to as quickly as possible. You're supposed to be doing a lot of them. Alright, so that's in there. And it's got the thing where you got to Slide it side by side to get it out, and then slide it side by side to get it back in. Oh, that's great with that one. Alright, so now we're back. That's about as quick as I can flip flop a laser board. That's about as quick as I can go. Alright, so now I have no. Oh, I got spin. If it go, this is what I call the electric slide right. It means you're done. It's going, it, it, it's hopping and it goes to the left, all the way to the right. Usually you can't fix that. It's not an adjustment left. You have to take a shot by going a little hair to the right and see if you can get overcome that, but not normally you don't. So that's. I have all little sayings I use, electric slide right, spindle jiggle, and then you want to hear your laser board chirp. That's a good thing. So you normally I would go left a hair at a time to see if I can get it to work. I don't measure anything. There's no measurements in these. Anybody tells you that's silly. It's whatever this exact laser board is doing to this exact spindle and uh, lens assembly. I don't think I'll get this one. So you see if I went too far to the right, then now it doesn't spin. So yeah, this one's dead. Whatever, it's something to do with the, the caps. Even though, even a, a 2-0 board can have it. As we see here, this one. I don't know if that's turning or not. So that's it. So it's always, as you can tell, I have three different laser boards and every one of them did something completely different. First one worked. So now it's spinning, but it's going to go that way. That's electric slide, right? That's the worst case scenario right there. You're done. Alright, let's so leave it there. <clears throat> yeah, do that one more time. You can see the electric slide right already. Watch it right there. There it is. That is not good. 